Lalibela in northern Ethiopia is home to ancient and spectacular rock churches that were carved out in the late 12th century. Many historians believe that the art of carving out churches died out more than 500 years ago. But even today, new discoveries of monolithic churches are being made in the country. The BBC's Imana Lugunza has been finding out more. This is the church of St. George or Beta Georgis as it's known, one of Ethiopia's most iconic treasures, an architectural marvel. It's one of 11 monolithic churches that were carved out of rock in the 12th century in a place that was the focal point of Ethiopian Christianity. The churches were commissioned by King Lalibela who wanted to create what he called a new Jerusalem for Christian pilgrims who were prevented from going to the Holy Land. To this day, it is a place of pilgrimage and devotion. Well, across northern Ethiopia, you'll find hundreds of rock hewn churches. They may not be as big and spectacular as what you find here in Lalibela, but they are still being constructed even today using that ancient craft that many thought had died out. Scholars have long believed that the practice of carving churches had all but disappeared 500 years ago. But local priests like Gebre Meskel Tsema is one of a dozen who are keeping the tradition alive. Gebre Meskel and his team of three have carved out four churches, which took them four years to complete. This is God's will, the work of the Holy Spirit. We have never seen any plans or any references for these designs. We just started our job and the Holy Spirit guided us. And you can see, the result is this. Both local and international historians from the U.S. and the U.K. have now embarked on an ambitious project of documenting the craft. So far, the team has uncovered 20 modern churches across the country. There's a very good possibility that when um, more power is made available in Ethiopia, that if they just continue to make rock cut churches, they will uh, use pneumatic drills and the, 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 handi the handcraft of making rock churches will disappear altogether. So what we've been doing is going from one new site to another, uh, interviewing the um, individuals, the, crafts, the craftsmen involved, uh, in order to try and obtain the, the, their personal knowledge as to how they did the job. Lalibela continues to serve as a pilgrimage site and can continue to do so for generations to come if the traditions are being kept alive. Imanuel Gunza, BBC, Lalibela, Northern Ethiopia.